Hey, everybody. Um, so I wanted to do an update on the petition, uh, on the White House petition site, and talk to you a little bit about the, how the petition site works and also um, why it's a good idea to sign the petition, why it's so important to, for this specific petition to pass. So um, the first thing I want to do is tell you that, you know, everybody who wants to sign the petition, it's actually quite easy to do so. You do need to create an account in order to do so. So you want to come down here and uh, click create an account. Now when you click create an account, all it asks you for is your first name, your last name, your email address, and your um, zip code. And then it'll ask you to put in like, you know, one of those security code uh, words just to make sure that you're not some sort of vote bot th thing, you know. Um, now I'm right now using Google Chrome um, as my browser, but I've also tried this in Internet Explorer, so it'll work on either type of browser. Um, now, after you've logged into your account, um, you can uh, um, any petition that you haven't signed, um, you're going to see um, a sign this petition button right here, and then you can just click that and it'll add your name to the petition site. Um, now, there's a lot of interesting things about this petition. As you can see right now, we only need 1,678 signatures, and we have about 13 days to get those signatures. So um, we need a little over 100 signatures a day, um, and we can, we can really do that. You know, if everybody that's listening to this and everybody who signed the petition and is interested really in getting this petition passed, goes out and talks to 10 people and gets that done, we can, we can do this. You know, we really can. Um, you need to talk to your parents. You need to talk to your, your friends, you know, um, and, and anybody else that you feel comfortable talking to. If you're at school, you know, talk to people at school, because this is not just a pagan issue. You know, um, I personally think that one of the reasons that they're targeting pagans is because they think we're an easy target. We are a relatively small um, group of religions that don't have a central authority and we don't have a lot of money. And so people see us as an easy target to push leg legislation that will then affect other religious groups as well. And I'll give you an example. If le legislation is worded in a certain way, if there's a judgment in a court that is worded a certain way, it won't just be about, you know, people as they normally think about pagans, which is European indigenous religions, but will also affect other groups that, you know, perhaps the Christian dominionists consider pagans, which would be anybody who's, you know, belongs to a non-Abrahamic religion, which is a much larger group of people. We're talking Hindus, we're talking Buddhists, we're talking atheists, we're talking people who practice African diasporic religions, Native Americans, we're talking about lots of different groups of religions, not just you know, what what most people think of when they think of pagans, which are Wiccans or people who practice European um, indigenous beliefs. So um, there's, there's a lot to be said about, you know, how this concerns more than just um, a small, you know, religious group. They're just using us as um, a target because we do have such a small base and we don't have a lot of money behind our organizations. And um, but but they are they are working towards a much larger issue. I, I guarantee that. Now, um, one thing about this petition site, which I found pretty cool, was that um, you don't even have to be an adult or or even necessarily an American to sign one of these petitions. Now, if you look under the FAQs right here, um, it says who can participate in the We the People platform, which is the petition platform, and it says here anyone. 13 or older can create or sign a petition on whitehouse.gov in order to participate in the we the people platform on whitehouse.gov users must create a whitehouse.gov account and verify their email address and that's it so it doesn't say anything about being an american it doesn't say anything i mean and as long as you're 13 or over you can do this. So parents, if you've signed and you've got kids that are 13 or over, get them to sign. This also involves them. 
And, you know, by all means, we need to get on board the atheist community and the Buddhist community and the Hindu community along with this as well, because those are much larger communities with much, you know, uh, with a lot more money and power than what we have. And so uh, I wanted to, to give a thanks to um, some of the people of the Alliance of Demons who have come forth and, and mirrored my videos. I know that they have a, a big audience of people who are primarily atheists, but not all atheists. And I would just say, you know, by all means, if you are somebody who's of a non-Christian religion, or even if you're a Christian that, that you know, really values the First Amendment, your First Amendment rights. Because, you know, after the Christian Dominionists do what they want to the non-Christians, what's to stop them from defining Christianity in their own way and saying, well, if you don't do this, then you're not a Christian and you've lost real rights too. So Mormons, Catholics, you know, um, Greek Orthodox faith, you know, these are these are place, pe people that a lot of these conservative evangelical Christians, they don't consider you Christians either. They consider you pagan. So by all means, you, this is your fight as well. And of course, it's anybody's fight that believes that the First Amendment should stay the way that it is. Um, anyway, I, I just wanted to walk you guys through that. Also, one more one more note about the petition. A lot of people think that the White House petition is hard to get to, but it's really not. As you can see up here, wh.gov forward slash 4RO is the short link to get to the petition. Um, it's quite easy to do. And um, one reason why it's so important for us to get these 1,678 signatures that we need left in order to move forward um, and get the recognition that we can we can from the right White House for this is that the White House has recently changed the threshold on the petitions. It used to be 5,000, as you can see, to reach the goal of 5,000. And once you reach that goal of 5,000, basically what it means is that the White House has to issue a statement in regards to your petition, which means that we get White House recognition. Now, if this petition doesn't pass, like I said, they have changed the petition thresholds, but they did not impose those retroactively to those people who signed up before the, th the, the petition threshold had changed. But if this petition doesn't pass and we have to redo the petition, the next threshold we have to hit is 25,000. Yes, that's right. Five times the amount of signatures. And you know that if we don't get those signatures the first time around, the chances of us getting them the second time around are slim to none. So it's very important that we do this so that we can get the White House recognition for this issue so that they can, you know, help us because we are a small community and get everybody that you can. You know, I've even had um, some Christians come forth and support this today. And I really I thank them for for their efforts and everything like that. I'm not trying to bash the Christian community. This is a small group of fringe Christians who are taking their religion way too far. Um, anyway, um, I wanted to um, to just update you guys on the petition site, and if you have any other questions, please let me know, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Anyway, um, thank you, and blessed be.